Hey, this is Lara and Good News Ministry. If you know me fairly well by now in my video <laughs> devotionals, you know that they oftentimes uh, happen when I'm just walking down the street, spending time with the Lord. I was just singing, just joyfully singing, such a far cry from all my years of brokenness and all my struggles, and I struggle to this very day, mind you, but just so, just feels so good to be just singing to Jesus and um, just having joy in my heart and love and hope and peace and all that. And the message on my heart right now is um, about the little lost sheep. I was thinking, what must it be like for a little lost sheep that is starving and hurting and broken and run down and doesn't know how to go from moment to moment, day to day, how to survive? And what would happen if that little lost sheep would look across the way and see a sheepfold? And what if when that little lost sheep looked at the sheepfold, it saw all these sheep and a good, good, great, great shepherd and all the sheep were so well loved and so well tended to and so well cared for and watched over and protected and the sheep would have all the food and water and everything else that a sheep needs. I'm not a sheep expert. But most importantly, that sheep would know the love of the Good Shepherd and the sheep would know that the sheep are not alone because the sheep are all together in the fold being watched over and led by that good, good, great, great Shepherd. What would that little lost sheep think about all of this? Wouldn't that little lost sheep want to know that he or she too would be welcome into that sheep fold. My friend, what's on my heart right now is we're living in a world that's falling apart at the seams. It is coming to an end. At some point this world will come to an end. It's getting darker and darker and more and more evil and the brokenness and the storms and the pandemic and the, the violence and the, the crime and the suicide and the, the depression and just the tragedies and, and the sickness and disease and suffering. It's just getting worse and worse and worse and worse. And so many lost sheep are out there that don't know that there's a way into that fold. And those lost sheep in reality are headed not just for more of this dark world, but ultimately are headed for eternal torment in hell and the lake of fire forever apart from the real good, good, great, great shepherd, which is the Lord Jesus Christ. I should say, who is the Lord Jesus Christ? And they're headed for hell because every human being is a sinner and we all deserve the curse that God has put on all sinners, which is death, hell, and the lake of fire forever apart from God. But God loves us so much, our good, good, great, great shepherd, that he sent his only begotten son, Jesus, to this earth to live a perfect life and become the perfect sacrifice and die the most heinous death imaginable on the cross. He was raised from the dead. And on that cross, he bore every single sin of every human being throughout time on himself and the wrath of God and separation from God and the punishment we all deserve. He took it on himself in our place so that every lost sheep would have a way to come into the sheepfold with the good, good, great, great, forever, almighty God, shepherd, who is Christ. And God made a way so that everybody, every one of us, myself included, who admits, yes, I am a sinner. God almighty, I have sinned against you and I am truly sorry for my sins. Every sinner who acknowledges his or her sin and turns away from a lifestyle of sin and believes in the death and resurrection of Christ and believes that Jesus is Lord and truly turns his life over to God Almighty and God's ways, truly turning from a lifestyle of sin to a lifestyle of following Jesus, which is not easy, mind you. Every one of those people is forgiven by God and promised everlasting life in the sheepfold of Jesus Christ, in God's forever fellowship and God's forever relationship, in God's forever kingdom and God's forever family. God has made a way for every lost sheep to come home to him. But my friend, 
so much of this world has its back turned on God and can't even see that he is the good shepherd or won't see he is because they don't want to turn away from their sins. They're holding on to this life and this world and these earthly pleasures and treasures for dear life, not really fully comprehending or do they that once friend you go to hell, there is no turning back. But once you come into the shepherd's fold into the sheep fold, and you're promised everlasting life, and your life is devoted to Christ. You are with Jesus forever and ever and ever and will one day be in a place when this world is gone in the new heavens and new earth, you will be no longer as a lost sheep, but as God's forever child, his servant. And you will know even on this earth, even with all the hell and the, the hard stuff, I should say, on this earth, you will know his love even now and joy and peace and hope, which is what you're seeing in me right now. And then will come the time in the new heavens and the new earth that God will create. When there will be no more suffering, there will be pure bliss and pure joy and love. No sorrow, no tears, no sickness, no death, no violence, no crime. Nothing but the love of Jesus and everyone who will be in the kingdom too committed followers of the Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus in the Bible says, if you want to come after me, deny yourself, take up your cross and follow me. It's not an easy life following Jesus. We have to die to self and we learn to live for Jesus according to his ways. But oh, the magnificence of knowing the Lord intimately and personally and being his chosen sheep. My friend, if you are a lost sheep standing outside of the sheepfold, maybe you've heard of Psalm 23. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not be in want. Read that psalm if you would. And study John 10 in the Bible, where the Lord talks about my sheep hear my voice. His sheep recognize him, my friends. We are to follow our good, good, great, great shepherd. I hope that you will watch this video devotional and that you will hear from God that you will sense the calling of God, that it's time, friend, to turn from the way you've been living and turn to the Lord once and for all, believing in Jesus Christ as Lord, devoting yourself to him and his ways. And if you already are one of his sheep, perhaps you're standing away from the rest of the sheep, standing at a distance, don't stand at a distance. Or perhaps you've even distanced yourself or turned your back a little bit or a lot on the good, good, great, great shepherd, then please turn back to God because one day, friend, it will be too late. God loves us, but he hates sin and he does hate evildoers and he wants us to turn to him. Consider this a calling. Consider this a call to repentance, a call to turn to God Almighty as your good, good, great, great, forever, almighty God, Jesus Christ, Father in heaven, Shepherd, please visit me and Good News Ministry online at goodnews.love. Take care. Bye-bye.